free speech hating liberals in a full-blown panic now that Elon Musk is set to take full control of Twitter. The world's richest man buying the company for $44 billion and is set to take it private. Musk saying this, quote, free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. Conservatives celebrating this as a win for free speech while liberals are holding a funeral <laughs> for the platform. I mean, the current board, you know, at least in the eyes of the street, they were more focused on maybe playing golf than fixing the company. <laughs> and, and I think that's been, look, and that's really been the issue. That's why Musk went after Twitter. The board, they try to do a poison pill, scary press releases. But at the end of the day, it goes back to it. He was playing chess, they were playing checkers. There was no other bidders. And that's why in this Game of Thrones, ultimately Musk ends up with Twitter. And now the board and a lot of their executives will you know, no longer be there. There have been modest, pretty inadequate, modest, uh, slight efforts by some of these platforms to solve an actual free speech issue, which is that so many human beings feeling so unsafe and being so unsafe when they use these platforms. But look, who knows? I, I think that's, a, a, that's, a, that's a, a, an example of a broader question for Twitter, which is, if you... Uh, if you get invited to something where there are no rules, where there is total freedom uh, for, for everybody, do you actually want to go to that party? Or are you going to decide to stay home? And that's a question for Twitter users. Some Twitter users might love the idea that there's going to be absolutely no moderation and no rules at all. Others might not want to be anywhere near that. Am I, am I crazy, Matt? No, no, you're right. And what, what happens to the advertising? I mean, if there's no moderation or little moderation, do the right. advertisers stay away? What does that do to the, the business prospects for Twitter itself? Imagine your favorite restaurant, you know, is under new ownership, and it was it went from vegan to barbecue. This is what's happening. It's no longer preferred treatment for the left, right? Yeah. You don't get the best table by the window anymore. Yeah. Everybody is now the same. Uh, he just. It basically took control of the media's diet because Twitter is their journalistic buffet spread. That's where they go to get all their stories. And this is why it, 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 you know, there was a problem with Twitter. It elevated extreme uh, takes, uh, you know, anointed by like a pocket of hysterics. There's not a lot of people that are there's like 10 percent that are constantly you know putting out crap. The joke about CNN was that it was never run by Jeff Zucker. It was run by Twitter. Mm. Right. It was their producers going to find out what's the screamiest take. Yeah. And then that and what happened that led the that led the uh, network down the drain. So uh, Musk isn't like a guy who bought a fast, expensive car. He's like the world's best mechanic buying a fast, expensive car. This is a guy who can go under the hood and go, oh, I see that algorithm. I know what that is. We should change that.